with its rightful owner. Turns out all it took was an old news article, the power of technology, and most importantly, the kindness of strangers. CTV's Kevin Chirac has the story. Richard Bernard believes in doing the little things to bring joy, whether it's blowing bubbles in a park or returning a priceless family heirloom to its rightful owner. Bernard stumbled upon this unique piece of jewelry when his good friend's wife recently passed away and they were going through her belongings. That's when the former antique shop owner used Google Lens to get a better idea of what it was. The first article that comes up is a CTV news article the four-and-a-half-year-old article detailed a lost gold necklace featuring two bird charms, a bow, and five green gems belonging to a woman in Delta. I was excited. I thought it was kind of cool. But... Bernard says his friend found it years ago and gave it to his wife for her birthday. Once he and his friend saw the story, he contacted CTV News. It's the right thing to do. I think it's the right thing to do. Everybody should do this. Everybody should, when you find a wallet, when you find a phone, you just... I will keep it in a safe space. <laughs> he didn't ask for any reward, only that we get the necklace home. I've got a special delivery. Oh, we found our woman. Here you go. Oh, that's heavy. Excuse me. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm just so grateful to him. We explained to her how it all came to be, including Bernard's instinct to use Google Lens. What a guy. How does he know all this? She says the necklace was passed down from her mother who came here from England and was devastated when she lost it. But now, pure elation. Very hopeful for the world, you know. I don't think many people would have done that. Um, I think he's quite a unique person himself. She says wearing it brings her closer to her late mother and plans to pass it down the family tree. If I didn't have this here, I'd probably be, <laughs> be crying, yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Kevin Chirac, CTV News, Vancouver.